Okay guys, we've got number three here. We have something interesting going on here. We want to solve for x to one decimal place. So cos of 35 equals x over 155. Well, cos of 35 is simply a decimal. It's a number. Let's remember that. So we're going to treat it like a number. So I'm going to look at the x and I'm going to say it's being divided by 155. The opposite of division by 155 is multiplication. So 155 times cos 35 is going to equal x. So remember what I did here. I just considered that over top of 1 and I multiplied both sides by 155, reducing that one. So taking my calculator, 35 cosine, that's that decimal, times 155 equals x equals approximately 126.8. Nine six. Now, they want it to one decimal place. That's two decimal places. That six is going to round up the nine. So this is actually going to be, but I have to show one decimal place because that nine got rolled up to a ten and my one decimal place is still a zero and you need that. If you don't have it, we don't know how accurately you've rounded. Okay, next one. We've got sine of 40. Remember, that's a number. This part right here is just a decimal, okay? That is a decimal number. So I've got five over x. That's kind of yucky. We want to get rid of that. Now we have a couple of ways we can do this. We can cross multiply. So we can bring that x up here and bring that one up here. That's going to give us x sine 40 equals one times five. Well, that's going to equal x sine 40 equals five because one times five is simply five now remember this is just a decimal this is a just a number so i'm going to divide both sides by sine of 40. i'm going to write it out once so that you see the whole thing but i probably won't write it out again so what happens here is these two reduce out leaving us with x equals five over sine of 40. this is simply a decimal number so if we do 5 divided by sine of 40, now that decimal is the sine of 40, I have to hit equals to get 5 divided by that, and it's 7.8 approximately to one decimal. Let's do that again so you see that. So it was 5 divided by 40 sine. That decimal is sine of 40, so it hasn't done the division yet. So I have to do equals and I get 7.8. Your calculator may be a little bit different, that's fine. You go ahead and figure out how to do it and make sure you can do it. I'm going to stop here and come back for examples 4 and 5.